2004 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. I bought this car at the co-part here in Connecticut. There's two in Connecticut. I got this one in, uh, in the one in East Granby. It's near the, uh, the airport, Bradley International Airport. 3,400 engine, 3.4 liter. I I bid, now this is the first car I ever got from Copart. It's the first, I just registered for it like a week ago for Copart and I never bid on the cars and I bid on this car $675 online. I didn't inspect this car, it was online. And I bid 675, the guy had to buy it now of 1,350. This car only has 48,000 miles. But it's the car came from Vermont and it was originally bought in Amsterdam, New York, so it's been a uh, north northeast car and it's got it's crusty. And this car was originally owned by a Karen literally on the title. Karen traded it in for a Toyota. And then a dealer bought it from the Toyota dealership. And then it, that dealer sold it to another dealer. That dealer tried to sell it at an auction in Vermont. Didn't meet the reserve. Found its way down to the Connecticut auction where I picked it up. This is all like from the title. And if you do a, a Google search on the VIN, it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. So I took a gamble on this car. I, I like these Monte Carlos. And, uh, you know, I drive 50,000 miles a year, so I use these cars. And again, it was a gamble. It On, on the site, it said it ran and drive. Let's see a little bit of crust right here. Um, it said it ran and drive. So I was like, hey, what the hell? What do I have to lose? You can see a little crusty, crustiness right here. It has brand new hand kook winter tires, winter pike tires. They're like brand new. And uh, it is January. 2021 so those will come in handy here in Connecticut so um I I bid on this car I went to go pick it up you pay for it online you go pick it up and uh <laughs> I never went there I went to the main office you know signed the paperwork whatever it took about like literally five minutes I'll tell you it was it was harder it was harder for me the other day to order chick-fil-a online than it was to to buy this car anyways i i pick up this car at the auction and uh they they don't even drive the car to you the keys are on a big zip tie here attached to the keys you know around the steering wheel and they literally had a, this huge front loader um, front loader car, uh, front loader with a, um, with these long forklifts and they picked up the car and just brought it to you. So there was the moment of truth. I get in the car. I, it starts right up. That's good. It starts right up Threw my plate on it and, uh, drove it. it. Sounded fine. The brakes were making a little bit of noise because I think it sat for a while and they were just really corroded and, uh, they're actually getting better over time. Hey man, if you, I, I got this today. I actually bought it. it was, they had it at Home Depot. And it's like this Bluetooth FM transmitter. You know, you just put, you put this whatever station, then you put this in the same station and it streams to, to your radio. Awesome. And it also has like these USB ports so you could charge your, your stuff. You know, this one, it works great. Crystal clear, I love it. Anyways, um, I like the keychain Karen included with the car. No check engine lights. That's just because I have it on. But look, check it out. 48,400 miles. But it's crusty underneath. That's why I think a lot of people were scared of it. But it runs fantastic. Anyways, I'm driving this thing back. The exhaust starts making noise, right? The, the exhaust starts making noise. And, uh, oh, Karen, must, Karen smoked. And she must have had a Cocker Spaniel because this thing... Smell like Cocker Spaniels and Prince Albert pipe tobacco. Let me tell you another little secret. This this Osium stuff, man, man, I'll tell you, spray it in, bomb your car with it, shut the doors, and man, that smell goes away. Now it just smells like Osium, Osium air sanitizer. This stuff works great.
the Hankooks. You know, I, I just found out these things are made in Venezuela. Crazy. And you can see the, the crustiness. So where did I leave off? So the, the exhaust, the car started making noise, the exhaust, right? It started getting louder and louder. I was like, okay, whatever. The hole in the muffler. And then the muffler dropped. Now I'm dragging exhaust. I take, I, I stop. I pull in a gas station, right? Listen to this. I pull in a gas station. I take the zip tie. I take the zip tie that was hold, that was holding the keys. It was a big one. <laughs> and uh, this dude actually at the gas station stopped and he said, offered me help. And I said, yeah, I just need you to hold the exhaust up so I could zip tie it. And he's like, cool. And then I was able to uh, drive it to my muffler shop, Fast Go Muffler in Hartford on Homestead Avenue, North End. And um, I dropped the car off. And they welded, they called me up, they said, yo, this needs a new resonator and a section of pipe. And there you go, see, for 150 bucks, I was back in business. Then I went and they fixed it like the same day. Went back, picked up the car. I had, I had an appointment to go to for my job. I had to go bid on a job. I'm a contractor. And they fixed it, looks good, right? You could see the, you could see it's got cr crustiness, and this is the the passenger. This is the passenger size. Some crustiness over here. What do, you, what do you expect? Oh, how much did I pay for the car? One thousand and sixty-three dollars. I bid six seventy-five. The guy came back with a counter offer of the buy it now price of one thousand three hundred fifty. I countered him back with seven hundred, and he accepted the offer. And I was like, man, I got this car for seven hundred bucks. Nope. Being the first time I was bidding on the auction, I learned that there's a buyer's premium. It was like 200 and change, plus a gate fee, like 60 bucks. And then the internet charge, because I bought it on the internet. So it was like, came out to $1,068. So I'm into this car for $1,068. $26 for this Pennzoil Platinum um, synthetic oil made from natural gas. And an, and, a, and an oil filter. That's what I'm into it right now. And I, you know, why I changed the oil because I was checking the front end, make sure this thing's safe, right? Which is good. I think the tie rod on the passenger side has a little bit of play. So we'll be, be, be monitoring that and maybe changing that soon. And then, uh, so I got everything fixed yesterday. Got the muffler fixed, everything fixed. And then I get rear-ended. This, on, on I-84, right on the highway. This girl in a RAV4, whatever, some kind of Toyota SUV, nails me in the back hard, hard. And I know everybody says, don't put your license plate on it. That's my business plate, man. You're just gonna find my business and everybody knows me, Danny Rosa, for the windows and chainsaws. She rear ends me, she she gets out of the car, comes to, knocks off my hat and had a, a pair of Bluetooth headset on, knocks my headset off, knocks my hat off. You know, I, whiplash, not that I got whiplash, but you know, I, the whiplash action. But I'm okay, you know, I'm tough. Didn't have to go to the hospital, I feel great still, feel pretty good. Anyways, she gets out of the car, she comes to the window, I'm like in shock. She's at my window knocking. Oh, there's no damage to your, our cars. Do you want to go? And I'm like, no. So the cops came, whatever. I just wanted to get a report. And, I, you know, when, when I, was, I was looking, I was like, wow, man, she's right. There's no damage. Not even the lights cracked. And when I say she hit me hard, she hit me hard. And I looked under there. All the, the, the foam is good. You know, the styrofoam. All the clips. All the clips are good. You see that? Like all the clips are good. Good. There's. It doesn't look like the the mount. The mount was bent. I was. I was amazed. So this Monte Carlo is a beast. It's a tank, right? And also, her car didn't have any signs of damage, anyways. But I did find some damage. Okay. And what it is? It's. It's. You see this mount right here. Yeah. Yeah. So where the where this bumper cover mounts to this quarter panel right here. And if I had a flashlight you could see it. It's all it's all messed up here. So I filed a claim. Let's see what they give me for that. 
but if you just look at it, looks fine. So yeah, so I had a very exciting day yesterday with this car. There's decades where nothing happens and there's days where, where, where decades happen. And, and yesterday was one of those days. So pretty cool. Oh, what's the worst of the rust here? I'll show you, I'll show you right here. Hopefully we got enough light. It's that right there. Now, when I first saw it at the at the auction parking lot, I was like, "Oh man!" But see, this 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 looks like it's just. A suit. I'm sure it's important, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be funny in that video. This is just this is the this is the f like the frame Mario of the car. Okay, this is unibody, but this is a frame. This is all solid, and this is just sort of kind of like a cover kind of thing. That's the floor underneath, and that's all solid. At first, I thought, oh, man, no wonder this car was hot potato. I mean, I'm sure it was hot potato for a lot of different reasons, but I thought this was the main reason that, um, you know, they wanted to off this car badly. But that's not even that bad. The floors are, are actually pretty solid, and underneath, the car looks pretty good. I mean, there's some crusty spots. And be, behind this plastic rocker here, it's a little crunchy, same thing on the other side, but it's plastic, this thing's covering it. I mean, if it ever falls off, you could go back there, just do a quick like tack repair, put this back on and it's gonna look great. You don't even have to do body work. If you're gonna go that far with this car, which I probably am not. The other thing with this car is, um, you know, the mileage checked out and everything. And the nice thing about Copart on the auction sites, they do do an auto check. They give you like an auto check, which is kind of like a Carfax that you could look you don't have to buy it, it's just there. You know, you must have a subscription to it. And the mileage checked out, but it did show one accident back in like an 09 or something. And I think this is, this is another reason why this car wasn't too desirable. Is like, look at this paint right here. So this must have been that repair for from a long time ago, from back in 09. And it just hasn't stood the test of time. All right see there's some bubbling going on there and they, this is where they must have you know like blended it so it looks you know the rest of the car looks pretty good just looks like crap over there but it's good enough for me you know i don't have a problem driving this car at all um see what kind of mileage it gets you know and i like it it's i like these two doors you know i you know i have i have had a lot of g bodies i've actually had a 79 monte carlo and a few others, a few other G bodies, and they're nice. But this is a totally different car. It's a lot more modern, front wheel drive. I know a lot of people, you know, it's not a drag racer or, or great. It's it doesn't handle that great. And but for the highway and you know just in town driving and everything, it's a super comfortable car, super cruiser. I like the looks. It's old enough now where there's not many of them on the road, and. It looks different than all the modern cars today because all the modern cars today look alike. It's, it's I call it the illusion of choice where the Mercedes, Toyotas, BMWs, Audis, they all look alike. You know, I used to be able to tell the difference between a BMW and an Audi, but now you can't. I saw a BMW the other day, I thought it was an Audi. And you could never uh, mistake the two. Very dis distinct cars, and today that's not true. So this car has uh, character. And that's it, you know. As always, thanks for watching my videos. Oh, a couple, a couple of things that I got. Let me show you what I just got. That was pretty cool. I got that, man. That's a bad mofo right there. And uh, oh, the SS. So I'm gonna be, uh, you know, when the tree. I don't know if you guys remember the head trees come down here. I split all the the wood, and everything's all taken care of right now. Look at all that wood. I got wood for days. That storm also ruined my my truck. I love this truck, 60 4L80. No, 6 6L80? No, 4L80 in that thing. 4x4, 2500 work truck, very minimal options. Love that. Tough, fast, and fast. This is the uh, Junkyard Impala SS. It's not abandoned. I just kind of been getting distracted with other projects around here. But I'm finally going to tackle it. This week, my goal... You know, I got the engine stand over there and I still got the engine and the tranny on the engine on the hoist. So 
the goal is this week is to separate the tranny from the engine, get the tranny on one of these dollies that I got over here, one of those moving dollies that I got over there, and then get the uh, engine on the stand. So my tractor, which is the most expensive vehicle I own right now, and the nicest, quite frankly, that, sits, that, that gets preferential treatment and it sleeps in the garage. Mahindra 1626 tractor. And it's it's a workhorse, you know. It's been plowing snow. I got the plow the snow plow attached to it, and uh, it's been it's been earning its keep around here. And uh, all these vehicles I have earn their keep. That's why they're here. It's just not for 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 play or show. That's how I justify doing it. Plus, it's not nice not having car payments anymore. I'm I'm done with the car payment game. That's the last new vehicle I bought right there. As of right now, that's the, my attitude. Um, I will buy, I guess, new. I run box trucks for my business. And I, I'd buy those new. They make sense. But there's benefit to buying new when you own a business. I'm not going to get into it. But, um, and that's it. That's the Monty. From Copart. There's the SHL in the background. But I was driving that. It was a fun car. But now this has got my attention. All right, folks. Thanks for watching.